All right, another beer from Saranac, uh, Matt Brewing Company in Utica, New York. This is Saranac Pale Ale, and this is a 5.5% ABV English Pale Ale. Uh, we're going to serve in an English pint glass. A 78 on Beer Advocate. Again, that's Saranac 70. Uh, I'll coin a phrase now, the Saranac 70s for Beer Advocate, because it seems like a lot of their beers are in the okay range uh, on Beer Advocate. The last one that we did, the Long John Ale, I really, really liked that one. Uh, and I gave it a little bit of a higher rating, so we'll see how this one does. 78 Beer Advocate, 44 rate beer. Um, it's brewed with six malts and aggressively hopped with hand-selected English Kent Goldings and Frugal's hops. So there you go. Uh, 32 IBUs, not extremely hoppy. Uh, it says, deliciously rich and flavorful. This is a complex beer with an easy-going taste, a happy contradiction in a bottle. Saranac Pale Ale. So, of course, pale ales usually are um, just kind of a simplistic style. So the fact that it's apparently complex is very interesting. Let's pour her into this English pint glass, Guinness, straight from Ireland. And we see that amber color, orangey, um, definitely a pale ale slash IPA looking uh, pour. Um, we have a about three quarters of a head uh, right there, just a nice, very orangey, very nice uh, looking hue to this pale ale. I like it. Let's get the uh, aroma now. Interesting, very interesting, <clears throat> very citrusy, very grapefruity, however, Balanced with something, I can't quite put my finger on what I'm smelling here. Hmm. Very fruity, like very, I mean, very citrusy, grapefruity, and just, I don't know, I, I really can't quite put my watery, is that kind of still, I don't know, is it it's very melony, wa watery, wa not watermelon, but watery melony, if that makes any sense. Um, and this also has something on the back that says our exclusive hop infusion process maximizes hop to beer exposure, resulting in a fresher taste that recently took home gold in its first competition post hip. Taste the difference for yourself. We've got hip hop infusion process. That's what that stands for. Um, I really like the aroma of this beer, so let's get the taste now of Saranac Pale Ale. Hmm. Not getting any hop bite from this. Uh, of course, the IBUs are 32, which isn't extremely high. Um, but it's, it's like a very, very subtle um, bite. Extremely subtle bite. But I'm getting all the the grapefruit and the and the citrusy kind of taste. Um, just not with the bite, which is, which is interesting. It almost, it tastes like an IPA without a bite. Wow. This is really a different, different tasting beer. Um, I really like, I think I like what Saranac did here. It's, it really differentiates itself from a lot of the other beers. I'm going to go ahead and give Saranac Pale Ale an 8 out of 10, just like Long John, um, Saranac's kind of start, starting to really win me over with these last two beers. They used to just be the kind of meh, middle of the road beer. But uh, this hop infusion process, I mean, a lot of, com a lot of beer, uh, a lot of breweries kind of have this, oh, we have this crazy process that so we do this. And you, you taste the beer and you're like, okay, this isn't really like, you know, spectacular or, or this isn't really different. This beer does taste different. It tastes like this process actually did something to this beer, that it's more saturated, more... Um, the, the fact that it has everything in an IPA, it's a pale ale, but it doesn't really have any hop bite to it, <laughs> which it, it's just flooring me right now. So great job by Saranac, and, uh, and I could probably have a few of these, uh, definitely with some spicy food. So Saranac Pale Ale, 8 out of 10. Thanks.